The endovac system is comprised of three components. The first used during treatment is the master delivery tip. It delivers irrigant from this tip and aspirates the excess through this tube. As shown here in slow motion, it enables the clinician to maintain a pulp chamber brimful with irrigant at all times. This removes instrumentation debris and allows for the exchange of fresh irrigant deep into the pulp canal without the need to use a potentially dangerous positive pressure needle. Please notice that the rubber dam must always be used and a sealing compound is strongly advised to prevent any spill into the patient's mouth. Immediately following instrumentation, the macro cannula together with the master delivery tip exchange a huge volume of irrigant through the root canal system. This combined action almost instantaneously clears most of the root canal system except in the last two millimeters. Please note that even though the macro cannula only goes to about five millimeters from working length, its vacuum effect almost reaches full working length. Then the micro cannula is taken to the canal's termination in order to clean the apex. This complete sequence is fully explained in the clinical example video. There is one technical consideration that must be completely understood. When sodium hypochlorite reacts with organic matter, it releases ammonia and carbon dioxide, and these gases will adhere to the canal walls and the micro cannula as simulated here with soda. Therefore, Every 10 seconds during final irrigant delivery from the master delivery tip, the flow must be stopped for a few seconds, allowing the gas bubbles to be purged from the pulp canal. This is not a concern during EDTA delivery. The endovac system is easily assembled using the multi-port adapter to conveniently hold the system together at chair side. First, the assistant plugs the two white fittings in the holes on top of the adapter. Next, one of the blue fittings on the silicone tube is attached to the master delivery tip that is then attached to a 20cc syringe, and the other blue fitting is plugged into the multi-port adapter. The master delivery tip is then hung on the multi-port adapter that is then inserted into the office high vac. It is very important to hang the clear tubes behind the rack because this tubing will not be used until after instrumentation. This avoids any tangling with the silicone tubing that will be used frequently during instrumentation. After instrumentation, a macro cannula is then placed into the handpiece. Then, depending on the length of the canal or canals being treated, an appropriate length micro cannula is selected and firmly inserted into the finger piece, and working length is marked quickly with a waterproof Sharpie pen. The white connector closest to the master delivery tip is removed from the multi-port adapter and inserted into the back of the handpiece. After use in the canal system, the handpiece is replaced with the finger piece. The cap is removed and final irrigation begins. The master delivery tip needle may be curved depending on the clinical situation as to afford optimal clinical ergonomics. Also, when required, the micro cannula can be pre-curved in the body portion, as shown here, to negotiate curved canals. But never pre-curve the micro cannula's delicate tip. Finally, at the end of treatment, both the macro and micro cannulae are disposed for reasons of patient safety and a variety of regulations.